students already we have seen six classes of anti neoplastic agents so in this class we are going to see plant products hormones and drugs so first one is vinca alkaloids it is isolated from catharanthus rosea otherwise called vinca rosea the main examples are vincristin and vinblastin this is the structure of vincristin i mean vinca alkaloids so here it is having two multi ringed units this first one no this is called as catharanthin so this is a indole containing moiety already we have known about indole what is indole benzene ring that will be fused with the pyrrole that can be called as indole so it is having indole containing moiety means that is called as catharanthin and this part no this is called as vindolin this is having indolin containing moiety so this part no this is called as indolin so this indolin containing moiety in you know, the whole thing so this is called as um, indolin so it is having two parts one is called catharanthin another one is called in vindolin and here this r no this instead of r we have aldehyde mean that is called as vincristin instead of r we have a methyl mean that is called as vinblastin already we have seen it has two multi ringed units one is called as the vindolin another one is catharanthin so what is meant by catharanthin indole containing moiety no that can be called catharanthin and indolin containing moiety that can be called as the vindolin well comparing these two i mean now when christian and vinblastin vinblastin is the most active compound this vincristin causes irreversible inhibition of mitosis first the vinca alkaloids act by binding to tubulin then they inhibit its polymerization into microtubules that prevents spindle formation in mitosis and arrest cell division in the metaphase we'll see the uses it is used in the treatment of acute leukemia non hodgkin's lymphoma and mycosis fungoids next is epipodophyllotoxins examples are etoposide and teniposide they are the synthetic derivatives of podophyllotoxins what is meant by podophyllotoxins they are non alkaloid toxin lignin that is extracted from the roots and the rhizomes of podophyllum species what is the source for epipodophyllotoxins may apple plant this is the structure of epipodophyllotoxins it is having an a glycone this part no that is called a glycone and this part no that is called glycone and that two are connected by means of glycosidic linkage here instead of for we have methyl means that is called as etoposide and instead of for we have methyl thiazole that uh, that can be called as teniposide this epipodophyllotoxins inhibit topoisomerase 2 what is the role of the enzyme topoisomerase 2 that is responsible for dna replication and transcription so by inhibiting this enzyme the dna synthesis should be inhibited uh, they are used in the treatment of lung cancer and testicular cancer next one is called cisplatin this is a structure of cisplatin so what is that in center it is having platinum that is having two chlorine and two ammonia that's why it is called cis why it is called uh, cis similar groups attached on the same side that can be called as cis cis di amine di chloro platinum now we'll see the synthesis of cis platin so what is the starting material taken for the synthesis k2ptcl6 that is called potassium 6 chlorine that's why hexa chloro platinate so what is the starting material taken potassium hexachloroplatinate k2ptcl6 that on treatment with hydrazine what happens here we have six chlorines no two chlorines should be removed so that's why we got k2ptcl4 that is called potassium tetrachloroplatinate here we are having six chlorines that's why it is called hexachloro here we have only four chlorines that's why it is called tetrachloro so what is the name potassium tetrachloroplatinate that on treatment with potassium iodide that chlorines are replaced by means of iodine that's why it is called potassium tetraiodoplatinate then that on treatment with ammonium hydroxide and also with chlorine cl2 here we have that and also with the chlorine here we are getting cisplatin 
so that iodine would be removed and here that hydroxy group also would be removed and we got cis platin. So, what is the structure of cis platin? Center we have platinum that is having 2 chlorines and also 2 NH3 groups. It can also be called as already we have seen its chemical name cis diamine dichloroplatinum otherwise it is called as uh, cis dichlorodiamine. Already we said diamine dichloro here it is dichlorodiamine platinum 2. So, it is a platinum complex containing 2 ammonia molecules and 2 chlorine atoms in cis configuration. Cis platin is a potent inhibitor of DNA polymerase enzyme and it also acts as an alkylating agent. Already we have seen alkylating agents. Okay. So, here this platinum complex binds with the DNA in which it has two chlorines know that two chlorines are displaced by nitrogen or oxygen atom of purine already we have seen purine structure that is having nitrogen and or uh, nitrogen and also oxygens so these nitrogens or oxygens are displaced or displacing the chlorine atoms of cisplatin and leads to three processes already we have seen miscoding depurination and cleavage of imidazole ring it is usually given in combination with the bleomycin and binblastin for the treatment of metastatic testicular tumor. Next drug is called hydroxyurea. Formula structure would be NH2CONHOH. Already we have seen NH2CONH2 that can be called as urea. So, here in the urea, one hydrogen is replaced by means of hydroxy group means that is called as hydroxyurea. Urea otherwise called as carbamide that is why it can be called as hydroxy carbamide. Now we will see the mechanism of action of hydroxyurea. Generally the ribonucleotide would be converted to deoxyribonucleotide by means of ribonucleotide diphosphate reductase and this is responsible for the rapid proliferation of cells. So, which is responsible for converting ribonucleotide into deoxyribonucleotide that is called ribonucleotide diphosphate reductase. What is the role of hydroxyurea here that will inhibit this enzyme? So, by inhibiting sorry, ribonucleotide diphosphate reductase, ribonucleotide would not be converted to deoxyribonucleotide. So, the rapid proliferation of cells would be inhibited. And this is used in the treatment of myeloma, melanoma, chronic myelocytic leukemia and ovarian carcinoma. Next one is called pipobromine. So, this is the structure of a pipobromine. What is, uh, what is the parent chosen here? That is called piperazine. Piperazine. With the piperazine, two ends are having CO, CH2, CH2, Br. So, what is the parent here? Piperazine. This is first portion. This is fourth one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, 3 carbons it is having that is why it is called the propane, but it is having ketone that is why it is called propionyl. This is called propionyl. So, this is 1, 2, 3. Here also 1, 2, 3. So, same similar groups. These two ends are having similar groups that is why bis. This is first and this is fourth that is why 1, 4 bis. Third carbon is having bromo. So, 1 bromo propionyl piperazin. Next is metotene. This is the structure of metotene. What is that? Benzene ring that is phenyl. Phenyl is having chlorine, orthochlorophenyl. Center we have CH, CHCl2. Here parachlorophenyl. So, what is the parent chosen here? It is having two carbons that is called ethane is the parent. Okay. So, um, in the case of ethane, this is the first carbon, this is second carbon. First carbon is having two chlorines. That is why 1, 1 dichloro. And what about second carbon? With the second carbon, here it is having orthochlorophenyl. This is orthochloro, orthochlorophenyl, and this one is having parachlorophenyl. These two are connected to the second carbon. That is why 2 orthochlorophenyl, 2 parachlorophenyl. Then what is left here? This uh, 2 carbons. That is why it is called ethane. It has a cytotoxic action on adrenal cortical cells and it also damages mitochondria and leads to cell death and atrophy of the gland. What is the uses? What are the uses? It is used in the treatment of adrenal cortex carcinoma. Next one is dromostenolone. 
This is the structure of bromostenolone. By seeing the structure, we can say it is a steroid. So, what is meant by steroid? Whenever we are telling a name steroid, four points we have to remember. So, what are the four points? First, what is the basic ring present in a steroid? That is called cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene. Second one, it is having two angular methyl groups. In third portion, it is it can have oxygen containing functional group. And in seventeenth portion, it may or may not have a side chain. So, what will be the numbering? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We will say the chemical name. So, thick line no, that would be beta and dotted line that is alpha. So, what is the uh, chemical name? 17th portion it is having beta hydroxy group that is why 17 beta hydroxy in second portion it is having methyl by means of a dotted line so 2 alpha methyl here fifth portion it is having hydrogen by means of a dotted line that is why 5 alpha this is androstene in the nomenclature we have seen 4 names no so this is coming under androstene androstene 3 one Understand 3 one So, that is the chemical name. It is a synthetic, anabolic or androgenic steroid and it is available as propionate. This word is very very important. Available as propionate. It is not orally active and that is why it is administered by IEM. It is used in the treatment of breast carcinoma in postmenopausal women and it is also used by athletes who need to retain the strength while losing mass. That is all about anti-neoplastic agents.